have the discussion whether heat pumps should be only renewables or only energy efficient, but in fact they do much more. It's quite understood that heat pumps in all application areas, in residential, industrial and commercial, can contribute towards an increased energy efficiency and towards a much larger content of renewables. First of all, I think it's a very important innovation that we now have a political commitment to come forward with a strategy for heating and cooling. It represents 46% of our final energy consumption and up until now has never really been dealt with as a unified policy approach. This 2050 target, we're talking about 80 to 95% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and for the building sector, which is where we use heating and cooling, uh, we're talking about effectively total decarbonisation, no more CO2 emissions from buildings. Uh, and there are a couple of ways to deal with that. The first is we can reduce our demand for heat in buildings and that's great and that means more insulation, that means better buildings and we will do that and we should do that. The other part of it is supplying the heat demand that remains uh, in a way that is consistent with our broader objectives, be they climate or energy security. We do need to understand how we picture the energy uh, supply and demand situation in the building sector in 2050 and then we have to go backwards from there to decide what we need to do today to achieve these targets. We tend to do things in Europe by public policy support. If you look at what we've done on renewables, we had public policy support. We need to increase efficiency by incentives, but also by supporting technology and, which may even be more important, to really move forward to shifting the energy consumption in the heating and cooling system to more and more renewables uh, with all the various technologies and resources which are there. But the way must clearly show forward towards renewables becoming the major players also in the heating and cooling sector.